Hi folks, Max from GalaxyS4Root.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install GT, um, GTI 9505, that's the International LTE S4, or the T-Mobile Galaxy S4 custom ROMs on your AT&T Galaxy S4. Uh, it's pretty much pretty easy to do. Um, basically you just need the ROM and also you need to get a AT&T kernel. Um, I've got the K-Tweaker kernel. I'll have links on my website. And uh, currently, I'm actually running T-Mobile Galaxy S4 ROM. I'm, I'm running Darth, Dark Stalker, Darth Stalker S4 run, uh, ROM. This is actually a T-Mobile ROM, and actually, I've got uh, T-Mobile SIM card running in it, and I even got uh, Wi-Fi calling working just fine. Uh, if I turn on Wi-Fi calling, um, you can do that, or you can just run your AT&T um, SIM card. Also, it works just fine. And this will also work if you're using uh, like the Canadian i337M series. Sure, work just fine. Um, so let me go ahead and show you an example. I'm going to go ahead and install Wanam Light, which is a GTI 9505 ROM. And let me go ahead and show you. Very easy to do. You just need to flash the kernel after um, installing the ROM. So go ahead and reboot into recovery. You can do it manually also, taking the battery out, put it back in. A volume up center and the power until you see rebooting to recovery let go of all the buttons or if you're running a custom ROM like I am you can simply do this and I'm gonna have to I'm gonna walk you through here so you can use clockwork mod recovery if you want uh, or team one twerp recovery I like twerp um, so go ahead and do a wipe and also do make sure you make a backup ROM just in case you want to go back if something goes wrong all right, and go ahead and do that. And also, do make sure the ROM you're installing does not come with a modem, or if it comes with an Aroma installer, don't install the modem. Otherwise, you'll have to find a uh, another AT&T modem or you know the modem for your phone and reinstall it. Most custom ROMs don't come with modem. You can check it by checking the zip file. Just um, look inside it, and if there's any kind of modem.bin file in the main folder, or main root directory, that means it has a modem. Um, you can also just take that out and then install the ROM, then it won't install the modem. So go, let me actually show you that real quick. So let's say I'm installing the Dark Stalker I, I was just running here. If you double click on the zip file, you, you will usually be able to see the contents of that uh, zip file. Usually if you have a modem, you'll actually see some kind of modem.bin here um, or in the system directory. There's nothing like that here. So there's no modem on this one, so it should be fine. So just do double check the ROM file um, that you are installing. And let me see, let me check out, this is not an S4 ROM, but uh, most ROMs don't have it. If you don't see any modem.bin, you should be good to go. So double check that after you download, and also you can use AndroZip uh, if you're using, uh, if you're gonna check it on your phone. So let's go back to our phone. All right, you should have downloaded uh, the ROM file without modem and also um, the K-Tweaker kernel for your Galaxy S4. Now, there's two versions of the K-Tweaker kernel. One is TouchWiz. If you're installing TouchWiz ROMs, you'll use the TouchWiz kernel. If you're using AOSP, such as CM10.1, AOKP, Paranoid Android, anything, you know, those uh, AOSP ROMs. If you don't know what AOSP is, go type, what is AOSP on Google? and uh, uh, basically use a correct kernel. But you know, you mostly, you'll probably wanna do this for TouchWiz. Most AOSP ROMs, they're available uh, without you know, doing this hack. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a wipe. Did I do a wipe? Uh, let me do it again. And go ahead and install the ROM. And I'm gonna go ahead and install the i9505 Wanam Lite. Now make sure you don't install GTI 9500 ROMs that's an octa-core ROM. If you flash that, you will brick your phone. So do not install those ROMs. Only GTI 9505, okay? Go ahead and install the ROM that you want to install. So when I'm lying, is a TouchWiz ROM. Um, so I've, I've got the K-Tweaker TouchWiz uh, kernel here, and I'm going to go ahead and install that. So I'll be back when this is done installing. Don't reboot yet. Um, we're going to go ahead and install the kernel next. I think it's almost done here. Um, so this is a great way because the T-Mobile, AT&T, uh, GTI 9505 all share the same Qualcomm. They're all GSM based, um, so they should be all compatible. 
and I've successfully installed GTI 9505 ROM, ROMs on my T-Mobile Galaxy S4. By the way, I should have another video on that. Um, so there we go. Once the ROM is installed, go ahead and go back to install and install the K-Tweaker TouchWiz kernel. So I've got it right here. Go ahead and install it. And that's it. And reboot, and you should be able to fix it. And also, if it asks you to fix root, go ahead and fix it. And go ahead and reboot. And uh, everything should be working just fine. Um, so that's how you can install GTI 9505 or T-Mobile Galaxy S4 custom ROMs on your AT&T Galaxy S4. And you can also do this. Um, you can install GTI 9505 ROMs on T-Mobile Galaxy S4 uh, without any kernel because it's straight compatible. The AT&T one needs a uh, kernel, custom kernel with it because this one has a block bootloader and you need a kernel that supports a uh, low-key uh, exploit which allows you to you know run custom kernels so for the other variants you should be able to good to go as long as you're installing Qualcomm ROMs on Qualcomm and my next thing I'm gonna experiment is try and install uh, some eight uh, some GTI 9505 ROMs on my Sprint Galaxy S4 and also my Verizon Galaxy S4 which is coming in the mail um, it's in theory it should be possible um, you know to turn them into AT&T or T-Mobile phones because those are also world phones but uh, Sprint and Verizon might have locked it so you know we'll have to go try it out um, but there should be a way to turn them into world SIM phones also but I don't think these uh, the GSM versions the AT&T T-Mobile and the GTI 9505 they can't be enabled for CDMA. I don't think they have the CDMA radios. But who knows? You know, there's always hidden things. I mean, we figured out how to uh, enable AWS bands on the AT&T Galaxy S4. So you can now turn your AT&T Galaxy S4 um, into a full T-Mobile Galaxy S4 uh, with all the bands enabled. I have instructions that on my site. Do I find out? Um, it should boot. And uh, if, if you have some ROMs that don't boot, um, there may be ROMs that might not boot. But most ROMs should boot uh, in theory. But I'll uh, give it another second here. And uh, I'll, I'll be back. This is taking too long. There we go. I heard something. I heard it vibrate. Ah, there we go. So that's how you can install it. So I went from a T-Mobile ROM to now a uh, GTI 9505 ROM. Now the good thing with GTI 9505 ROMs, they have a tethering broken. There's no lock on it that AT&T put. Um, so you don't even have to hack it. It's enabled by default, which is really cool. And there we go. And also 4G LTE works just fine. I, I just have my T-Mobile SIM card in there, which I get horrible signals, so it's dropped to edge. But um, I've tried it, 4G LTE works just fine. If you have trouble with 4G LTE, go to settings, mobile networks, uh, go to mobile networks, make sure it's set to LTE GSM. It, sometimes it gets set to GSM WCDMA. Set it back to LTE GSM WCDMA. Let it sit for a while and make sure you're using, if you're using AT&T, you're using uh, 4G LTE APN. Uh, sometimes it'll default to the, uh, you know, the singular, the, uh, the slower version so that's pretty much it and uh, now you can install GTI 9505 uh, or T-Mobile Galaxy S4 ROMs on your AT&T Galaxy S4 that gives you a lot more options than just having AT&T custom ROMs since there's actually a few of them right now since the bootloader unlocked but this opens a whole world of new custom ROMs you can install on the Galaxy S4 AT&T SGHI337 or if you have the Canadian i337M series, um, this will work also. But for the Canadian versions, you don't need the, the K-Tweaker kernel. Uh, most likely not need it because um, this is only if you have a locked bootloader, which is only the AT&T version. And it kind of got long, but um, now you can be assured you can install T-Mobile GTI 9505 ROMs on your AT&T Galaxy S4. And if you like this video, as always, don't forget to hit that like button here, subscribe button down there, and don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxys4root.com. We update you once a week with Ron Louis tips, hacks, and more, and stuff like this. And I'll see you guys soon. Stay high on Android.